Hey, what's up YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about shaders and smoothing. The first thing I think we should be talking about is smoothing because it's a very simple setting you can set on your Raspberry Pi for different emulators and I'm going to show you how in this video. But first you should understand the idea that supposedly what this does is it kind of takes away the clearness of the pixels and adds like a little filter over it which kind of helps blend the pixels together. So you can see here left Mega Man is without any video smoothing. You can see that a lot of more detail pops out, but you can also see the pixels more. We're on the right side here. This is a video smoothing filter added on. As you see, it looks kind of HD, but at the same time, it's not. It's kind of uh, muggy, if you wear it. It's not as clear. So a lot of the purists, actually, and especially on the older games that don't have as good graphics, prefer it without video smoothing. As far as performance, you're going to get the same performance whether you have video smoothing on or off. But when games got a little better around uh, Super Nintendo or so, the video smoothing actually made the game look high definition. As well as when you went from a CRT monitor to an LCD monitor, the video smoothing really stood out even more. So video smoothing is up to you. You can turn it on or off. The other two things is you can actually add shaders, which can add curvature to your screen. Um, as you can see here, the old school TVs had a little bit of a fishbowl effect to it, and you can curve the screen. So that gives you the ability to either have a flat screen or have it curved. The other third thing you should really be, there's, there's a bunch of other things, but I think the next biggest thing is the scan lines. You're going to see that <clears throat> some of these shaders add the scan lines or remove the scan lines. And that can either be good or bad. It's up to your preference. So in this video, we're going to have a look at different scan lines, different video shading, and see which one you like best using Final Burn Alpha Metal Slug as the test game. Here we are in raise 128 gigabyte image in uh, um, emulation station and we're going to retroply setup we're going to go down to setup here once you hit retroply set go ahead and press go down to C configuration and tools once you're in configuration and tools we're going to go to 805 config edit and then we're going to go to um, configure basic libretro and for this um, tutorial we're going to do final burn alpha and um, as you can see, my video smoothing, smoothing is unset. So let's go ahead and do false now. So we have um, false. The aspect radio, I want to do 16.9 resolution. I'm going to go ahead and run 1920 by 1080. So I want to run the highest resolution with the 16.9 shaders off. You got that? Highest resolution, shaders off. As you can see, it's running pretty well. Okay, let's go ahead and put video smoothing on. And we'll turn the shaders off. We'll keep them off for this next one. Okay? So we're still at 16.9 and the higher um, resolution full screen here but this is with video smoothing on I kind of prefer um, what okay. so there you go that's with video smoothing on okay So leave that on. That was shaders off. So if everything is on, true. Shader file. Now there's a lot of different shader files. Let's try 4x. Let's see what that looks like. As you can see, I mean, if you look at the actual character, he looks like a watercolor painting. <laughs> like it's very smooth and put together but it doesn't quite look like a game it looks more like a movie now so if you're looking for that kind of look I mean that's what it does so that's with video smoothing on and a shader so let's try it with the video smoothing all off and let's just do that same shader so we have something to compare it to
Mission one, start. Now we're trying it with the HQ2X. Start. This is the HQ2X shader on, video smoothing off. This is video shader 20 on, video smoothing off. This is shader number 30. This is shader number 29, Netty. This is the third shader down with video smoothing on. This is the first barrel shader. And as you can see, the screen is curved like a barrel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you could please like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. If you have uh, settings that you think I would like or we should all try, please leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time.